Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a reusable uh, action sheet context provider, uh, which will expose a hook that can, you can use on any component in screen you want, where you want to show an action sheet. And uh, just to clarify what is an action sheet, in case you are not sure, I have uh, an app here on the right side. That's an, an example of an app I have been working on. Um, if I were to press on a, uh, let's say I went to activity and I pressed on this icon, it will pop open kind of like a menu here. And this is what's called an action sheet. And you might have a lot of places in your app where you need to pop open the menu, where you can choose different options. And depending on what you press, you might navigate somewhere or something else might happen, right? But this is a very common pattern. And the... Uh, Instead of rendering out the same action sheet a million places, we can create a reusable context provider and then expose a hook that we can use in different places of the app. Okay, And uh, I'm going to show you how I will go on about implementing that. All right. So um, yes, just to clarify, I am going to be using native base in this application or in uh, this example. And native base is a uh, UI library that I really like. Actually, the only one I like for React Native at the moment. So I uh, highly uh, recommend that one. And uh, yeah, just try to Google for native base and download that one as a dependency, OK? All right, so let's get started on this code. So. Uh, Yes, the first thing I want to do is I want to import React from React. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a context. OK. And this context is just going to be called context. And here I am actually going to access React and then call create context on that one. OK. And uh, in here, I'm just going to pass an empty array or an empty object just for now. Yeah. And uh, before I continue, I'm going to find the type of uh, what I can expect in this context. So I'm going to create a type. I'm going to call it con uh, context props here. And uh, in here, I'm just going to have a one function that's con it's going to call be called toggle sheet. And here, in here, I'm going to take some options. And these options is going to be what I am going to show in my menu. So when I pop on this menu, I'm going to expect there to be four options. And each option, of course, is going to have a, uh, yeah, at least a label, right? So I'm just going to make it simple. So in here, I'm going to have a, um, yeah, some options. And I need to actually define the type for an option as well. So let me create it up here. An option is just going to be a label, and then there's going to be a handle as well, which I'm going to call on press. Okay, so now we can define our context props here. And that's going to be a function, of course. And we're going to take in an array of options. All right, so next step is going to be to create my provider. So here I'm actually going to export that one right away because I'm going to need to render it out somewhere. And I'm going to call it sheet context provider. And this is going to be a React component. And in here I'm going to expect there will be some children that I can just structure out and render. And then in here I can do a return context provider. And I need to pass a value in here. I'm just going to pass null for now. Okay. And then in between the context provider, I'm going to pass in children. So whatever is passed in as children is going to be rendered out here. All right. So uh, this is my provider. Now, right now it's pretty empty. So I need to, well, first of all, add some state in here. Right. So we need some way to assign the options. And uh, I'm just going to have some state called options here. And that's going to be a uh, use state hook. 
and that initially is going to be empty and uh, yeah let's define the type it's going to be an option array okay that looks good now i am going to have a value here i'm not just going to have null and the value that i'm trying to expose here is going to be this toggle sheet functionality okay so uh, I'm going to have a value here. I'm, I'm actually going to wrap it in the memo because I want to make sure I'm not doing any unnecessary renders because this is going to be a provider that's wrapping the whole app, right? So let's wrap it in the memo. And then let's return a object here, which has a toggle sheet function. Yeah, and this toggle sheet function is going to take some options, and this one is just going to call set options. Actually, so let's give this one another name. Let's just call it new options. Okay, something like this yeah all right let's pass in the value down here and let's double check that everything is okay so it seems like i put the wrong type here it should be of course an array of options yeah okay that looks correct all right, all right. So we have a few red lines here, and that's because of Prettier. I am just gonna disable that for now, or oh, fix it. Okay, cool, cool stuff. Now, uh, now we need to go to the next part, which is gonna be rendering out the action sheet. And that is why we cannot get away with just creating a hook. We also need a provider where we're rendering stuff. So in here, on the children, I'm also going to render out an action sheet. And I'm going to grab this one from native base. Okay. And uh, this action sheet has two props that I need to fill out at least, which is going to be the is open. So whether it's open or not. And here I can check if the length of our options is above zero, well then I just assume it's open, okay? Then I don't need any extra state to handle that. And then I also gonna have an on close here. And this is uh, when we close the action sheets and in that case, we need to make sure the options array is empty. And for that, I am just going to find a new function up here going to call it going to call it reset sheet perhaps and i'm going to wrap that and use callback to avoid any re-renders once again and in here i'm just going to set options to an empty array like this okay here i can pass in reset sheet and then i'm all good for the action sheet itself now we need to render out some action sheet items and for that well we can just look at the options right and then for each option we can render out an action sheet item and here we need to make sure we pass a key and the key can be based on the label perhaps it's unlikely we're going to have the same label for multiple option. And then, of course, we have the unpress handler here. And I'm just gonna inline that one here. I am gonna call the unpress function that is passed. And then I'm actually gonna call reset sheet. Okay. And the reason why I'm calling reset sheet here is because um, 
I uh, want to close down the action sheet after I chose an option. I always want to do that. That's just going to be a default behavior of my implementation. Okay. Cool beans. Now we're actually done with our provider, so we can wrap our app with this provider. But uh, we need to make sure we remember one thing, and that is also to expose the hook that we're going to be using in our different functions. So down here, I'm going to export a const. I'm just going to call it use sheet. That's very short and precise. And here I'm going to call the use context from React, and then I'm going to pass in my context here. Okay? Like this. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool actually. I don't know if I'm missing anything here. It doesn't look like I'm getting any type errors even, which is a little bit interesting. I actually thought I would need to pass this one in here. Uh, actually, I, I need to do that because otherwise I won't get the correct uh, uh, whenever I use the hook here, I won't get the correct uh, autocomplete. So important to grab these props that we define at the start and then put it in here. Okay, and just to remove this error, we can do this. Um, yeah, but there's probably a better way of doing it. But uh, this could be a way. Okay, so now we are getting a error here. It's not agreeing with. Oh, I think that's because this should be an option array, right? Okay. Now there's no type errors and we are basically ready to give. All right, I'm going to go to my app TSX. And in here you can see I have my sheet context provider here. Just wrapping it together with all the other providers that this app uses. And you can see here I'm just importing it up here. Okay. And uh, now for the last part, we're just going to be toggling the sheet. So here you can see I am calling my use sheet hook that we define in our sheet context file. And then I'm destructuring out the toggle sheet. And if we search toggle sheet, you can see down here in this piece of the code, I am calling my toggle sheet function and I'm passing in an array here. Uh, here I'm passing in one. Uh, that has the label delete and also I have an unpresenter here which is removes an item okay all right and now let's try to demo it so here on the right side we have uh, an item here I can click it and then my action sheet pops up with the label delete and I can press it to fire off the handler uh, the handle didn't really seem to work, but uh, you get the you get the point. Okay, that's all I want to show in this video. Hope you learned a thing or two, and I'll see you in the next one.